Guess who's fucking sick? This guy. I have a Muppets team battle. I just got a theme team together. I put a couple together. Uh, so, uh, some better than the others. If I look at his team, he has just some ugly shit. And um, it this has a lot of twists and turns. I originally didn't want to upload uh, loss. Spoilers, I lost. But this match was so good that I had to. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Sorry that you can see my fucking chubby ass fucking motherfucking in here. So isn't that fucking hot? Look at that. All right, now that I creeped you out, he leads out with Japanese uh, jelly scent, and I lead with my, oops, sorry, with Miss Piggy, who usually just goes in there and gets a lovely kiss off, nothing too special. So I go for my lovely kiss, put it to sleep, first turn, which I'm you know, shocked about that I got that, because I, in most of this game, you can see that luck was not on my side. So uh, I switch out, because I can't, I don't have anything to touch this thing. Switch out to Gonzo, and that's probably the biggest mistake of the match. Guess what happens? He woke up first turn. Yeah, they toxic my stall Pokemon, my best stall Pokemon. And by the way, if you're wondering why this is Gonzo, it's because of the nose thing. And it's kind of got the same vibe. So yeah, I'm getting hurt by it. I go for a foul play, forgetting how defensive a shit Jelson is. He lives it by a lot. Then he goes for a Scald. Going down, and right here, I probably should have thought about switching, but I, I, my stupid ass thought that I could beat him, so I just kept going for some foul plays. And you can see how much, how big of a problem this jelly set really was. He energy balls me, this, even though I'm a special defensive wall. He still did it, and this toxic starting to build up, and just as he's still doing damage to me as well. And then I go for my own uh, foul play again, right there, almost killed. Then he goes for recover, which I expected. But since I'm toxic right now, that's gonna fucking suck. So this toxic's building up. He just needs to protect or something. And I recover probably, so I just went for another foul play. And that put him about half. Even though he's just gonna recover again. I didn't I probably should have switched or something because I wasted Hypno and if I kept him I think I would have won this. Uh, Hypno and Gonzo. So I'm still going to, I'm determined to take this guy out, because I was actually thinking about leaving just kind of stupid this is. So I bring out my Kermit, who puts in work. Like, a lot of people are saying, like, uh, to, uh, uh, I don't even know it's this guy's real name, Politoed is awful, but I really like him. I mean, look, that I don't even have special defense EVs, and he, bolt, he took that so well. Maybe I'm thinking about putting a weakness policy on one, I don't know. I like running weird sets like that so uh then I, he's got toxic on him right now i protect just so i can get a little extra toxic stall fuck god damn it eh. Eh, you didn't see that so yeah i just get some toxic stall on him because well since he did that to me and uh i don't even care if he toxics me just because i can uh pair a song at any time i want so i have to go for a skull just for that damage even though i know it's not going to do much <coughs> sorry about that sick thing again so he goes for the Toxic on my Politoed. And I don't really care. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I can just, I just, this guy just pretty much just comes in a pair of songs, and that's about all he's really good for. Even though he might have been the MVP of uh, this game. So uh, now he's just taking some uh, of that damage. So now his uh, recovers are going to be counterintuitive. Big word, I'm a fucking genius. Bring out my Rowith, my favorite Pokemon from this whole team, my favorite set. Intimidate defensive is so great in my opinion because it just it can wall anything e even though he switches here to his road and wash he gets a thunder wave on me <sighs> whatever so he gets a thunder wave on me paralyzed even though my main problem about this is uh, speed and does about half and so he goes for his I forgot what that was I think it was a scald but since I'm paralyzed I can't Pair hacks, and it doesn't matter though, because as long as he doesn't, he can doesn't burn me. The rat wolf can still put it in work. So I go. He goes for a hydro pump, even though I'm defensive, I still take it, and I uh, hit him back with another return, which will kill him. His Rotom wash. So I got one down. So now that he's got the pretty big lead so far, I think he gets even more of a lead. So I'm about to dead here. I don't know if I save rat wolf or not. Or I totally forgot. I recorded this two days ago. 
So now he brings out the blaze again. Fucking blaze again. God damn it. You probably saw it on the thumbnail or something. So I switched out to Kermit. Because I thought he would go for Protect or something. Since he did turn out to be a Mega. So I'm glad I did this. He goes in. He. Yeah, he protects, but it fails. So I usually. I want it to come in here. I want it to Parish Song, I think. Just because. Uh, uh, I knew you'd get the speed boost and stuff. Wait, did I? Or did I go for uh, Scalds? I forgot. Let's find out. We're going to find out together. He goes for another protect so we can get another speed boost because it's not like a... He's going to outspeed uh, Politoed unless he has two up because you know how fucking fast Politoed is. But nonetheless, I don't know why I talk shit so much in these uh, videos. Just because it brings out a competitive aspect to me. So he's got his third speed boost, I think. Now he goes for a sky attack, a sky thing. And it does way too much. But I don't care because I can get a scald. This is my first attack on him. It does a lot of damage. And you'll find out that's the most damage he got on him. So yeah, it's not the best. So yeah, now I'm just taking my toxic damage. And I'm guessing he's just going to protect or something. But I didn't have much to do because I had the scald is the only way. And uh, so he's protecting and making the match fucking boring, but he doesn't care. So I just go for a scald, and he's trying to stall me out. But I think my leftovers, get, yeah, I think they give me uh, like 3 HP or something. Or gives me 10. I'm wrong. Now he's almost about to outspeed me because you know how slow Blaziken is. And this is going to kill me. So I was wrong. I don't think Kermit was the... MVP of this game, so let's, honestly, I think Blaziken was the MVP of his team and mine. So yeah, I sent out where I will so I can get that Intimidate defensive bolt, because even though he can kill me with the Sky Uppercut, I can still get that drop, and let's see if he does. Yeah, he kills me, but, so now I think I've lost like four Pokemon or three Pokemon like that, something like that, and he's only lost one. So, uh, yeah, that's, this is the part. I think Pepe, yeah, Pepe was an MVP. If you, by the way, if you're thinking, but Pepe is a prawn, that's the joke. Cause he's kind of like a shrimp, and he doesn't like people. Go watch the Muppets movie. That's fucking that's amazing. He was a waiter and all that. Yeah, whatever. Talk about, let's talk about Lucario. That movie where he talked, cause he's like so original. He's the only legend that ever talks. Go for a water pulse here, by the way. Kill that Lucario. Fuck you. Match actually. The match right before this, I lost like. I think like I only killed one of his Pokemon and he sweeped me with a Mega Lucario, which is fucking. I hate that. I hate Mega Pokemon. I wish they didn't introduce it because there's not like one Mega Pokemon I consistently use. The one I've used the most is Pod Camera Up. So yeah, he just trying to be annoying here. He subs. I just water pulse it because you know uh, that's gonna break the sub. Because this 125 special attack. Don't quote me on that. So you know it goes for Toxic on a. Uh, for some reason, I don't know. I, I've never gone talk. I don't really go toxic on a special attackers and on walls, but he did it anyway. I go for a water pulse, which kills him. So Pepe just killed two in a row. He's starting to get cocky. You know, that choice scarf. Pepe, which I actually renamed him after I did this, and his new name is Elephantitis. That, yeah. I, I think I like nicknaming Pokemon more than I like playing the game, honestly. That's my favorite part. Yeah, uh, so you'll see if I ever make it just a regular singles game instead of like themed or sweeps. Speaking of that, I'm actually going to upload a uh, Murkrow sweep sometime, but you know how annoying it is to try to get one of those because uh, no one wants to uh, stay after you set up. Uh, who, who wondered? But my plan with it right now is trying to get a bunch, like trying to let him kill like a bunch of my Pokemon so he gets confident and then bring Murkrow at the end. But. And that's that's next video. Let's talk about this video. So right now I got my Miss Piggy, which is not a grumpy, just because this got the dress, the blonde hair, and the lips. So I just went for that. So uh, I think then I go for a nasty plot since he's asleep to get that boost because I uh, I was kind of running low on Pokemon, so there's no point of uh God fucking allergies, sickness, fuck you, fuck you, immune system. I'm gonna get some orange juice or something. Yeah, I just need to get into Toxic. Jinx. Jinx is not a bad Pokemon. Jinx, if you don't like Stealth Rock or anything, I like Jinx as a lead. She's obvious, She's pretty fast, and uh, 
it's worth it if you want to get a sap or if you want to get a switch the first turn unless you got bad hacks and uh he wakes up every other turn god damn it voice cracked fuck times two i go for a psychic here and it kills it critical hit i think crit mattered yeah who cares because i already got it so the monopoly man's dead and so is the jinx so I think it's coming down to the wire here. Uh, I've been keeping track of who's alive still. I, I think Pepe is. I bring out my Fozzie. Hey, Boo Boo. That's that's the wrong character. And he brings out his Salamance, who has Intimidate. He's stupid, but I don't care. I just protect the first round because I was tired of him protecting the whole game. And uh, he goes for Dragon Claw. I get my Toxic Orb up, which a lot of this. That's the common theme of the game: Toxics. So I go for a Facade, does uh, about 75%, goes for a Dragon Call, I bulk it up, and I'm still able to go for another one and kill this guy out. So I think it's down to the Blaziken after this. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, yeah, that's dead. And then the Blaziken comes out here. I think it does. I can't tell by the name. Yeah, Blaziken comes out. And uh, I got three Pokemon left, I think. He goes for tech, gets those speed boosts up, which is fucking annoying. Can't do anything. And uh, he, I think he gets two up in a row, which is even more stupid. Because I don't think I've ever, I don't think he failed a single protect in this entire game. Oh no, he just goes for Sky Uppercut. I'm surprised he outsped a quick feat. Uh, max speed, Fozzie, but who fucking cares? So yeah, now I got my Pepe out here, which is my I think my last Pokemon. He goes for Protect, and uh, right here we got our it's one to one right now. I could if if I would have hit if I would outsped, if I would outsped, I would have won an instant. And if I didn't get that, I don't think if I got that Toxic Poison, I would have survived, so, and I wouldn't be able to go for a Water Pulse after. But unfortunately, Sky Uppercut kills, and that's the end of the battle. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, keep an eye out for that Mirko Sweeper unless I switch it because uh, it's too hard to get it. Uh, see you guys.